Hello, my name is Scott Manley Hadley. This is Triumph of the Now TV, TOTN TV. This episode is all about reading. We're going to open with a reading from Chris Jones. So I was thinking about what to read for you, and I thought I'd read the read, a poem called The Reading, okay. which is about Ken Smith, who was one of the first poets to be published by Blood Axe, an independent poetry book uh, publisher. And he's a particular hero of mine in that he kind of went his own way. He was one of the first poets to go to prison and work in prison as a writer in residence. He appeared on Wogan talking about it. When I was a teenager, I saw a poet on television. I thought, wow, this poet, you know, hardly ever see poets on television, particularly on something like Wogan. But that was Ken Smith talking about his experience of working work, well with Scrubs. And uh, his poems uh, are alive, they're vibrant, uh, they're full of demotic. Uh, he writes about um, Yorkshire, because he's from East Yorkshire originally. He writes about London in a fantastic way. Uh, so I thought I'd read you the, this poem where I invited him to, to read in Sheffield in the late 1990s as part of a series of poetry events I put on. And I just thought I'd um, try and capture what it was like inviting Ken Smith to come and to come and read the reading. When Ken arrives, his foot's encased in plaster. He wheels this trolley like a gentle curse. Those shrugs off pain before I've time to ask what turned him lame. Concern would make it worse. A bloody stupid thing is all he says. A short walk later, Ken is nursing a pint. While we as hosts assert, rephrase the woes of modern verse. But with the drink and our crosstalk, the rattle levels raised. Shut up, he growls. I can't hear myself think. A friend will joke about unpeeling his moustache, as if another Ken hides underneath. But propped outside, he scoffs his fish with gusto. And when he reads, his weighed voice never wavers. Our bloody-minded poet won't be rushed. We'll muse on hats in every flavour for ten whole minutes. Pausing wants to burp his chip shop apologia. Post reading, Ken looks pummeled from his work, but still has form to join us in the grapes, bearing books, reserve the leg that doesn't hurt. Ken. What? Ken. Yes? Though questions now escape me, I'll remedy what I should have said. A view that keeps you restless. The way you face this keening wind. How you mark the edges. Leaves you peerless. Don't slow down. Don't settle. Don't, at 64 Ken, end up dead. Someone mentioned the other day that they enjoyed reading this on their commute. Why did I say it in that way? On their commute. <laughs> um, because uh, it was kind of perfectly sized or shaped, mm -hmm. length um, rashes that they could attack. And they felt that they were able to be in one place, read one story, and then hop off. Um, and maybe it required a different type of commitment to a novel. Um, and that's why they are now seeking out more short stories. When I was uh, young, in the middle school, I, I, I loved to read Henry Miller. Not because of sexual or, you know, things, uh, but uh, because 
I love his language. Yeah. With a lot of uh, citation, with a lot of uh, sentences from the from the early four, from the Dostoevsky or whatever. He was very inter interesting out author for me because he said that he uh, he 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 learned from the dictionary. He take one column A, so he learned. <laughs> it was for me like, no, this guy is crazy. <laughs> I like to be able to use a bookmark. I like to be able to have a sense of how far I'm through something. Mm. Um, not because I feel like I'm suffering <laughs> and I need to know how much longer it has to go on. But um, something about that uh, sense of time passing that you can see kind of physically mm. registered rather than a longer, uh, not a loading bar, what do I mean, like a... Tracking yeah. bar. At the moment, I'm reading uh, Nasty Women, the um, the collection of essays or stories by uh, female writers. That was 404 Inc. They're based in um, Scotland. Really good. And before that, I read um, Love and Hate, which is another collection by Hanif Qureshi. That was pretty good. And what else do I read? I mean, old favourites. Kurt Vonnegut, absolutely great. Big big fan of him. Uh, what's your favourite? Um, the Sirens of Titan. I've got a problem that I can't control I've got a sickness and it is burning me deep into my soul I've got an addiction keeping me up every night I love it so much I don't even try to fight It ain't the cocaine, no And it ain't the booze, it ain't the heroin that is giving me the blues It ain't the hashish or the speed That has got me hooked I'm spending all my motherfucking money On books When I wake up in the morning The first thing I do is I ingest a line or two of poetry Man, or motherfucking prose It warms me from my head to my toes I'm using literature as an emotional crutch It's more acceptable than drugs But it costs me as much Every time I pass a bookstore I go and buy it's a compulsion That I struggle to deny They see me outside with the cash in my hand So desperate for a page I'd even take an Anne Rand Because without a book I just can't get by So pass the Dostoyevsky on the left hand side It ain't the cocaine And it ain't the booze it ain't the heroin that is giving me the blues It ain't the hashish or the speed that has got me hooked I'm spending all my motherfucking money on books